I think tonight we are truly writing history and we are writing the future of robotics applications. Tonight, Yumi will demonstrate how intuitive, how self-learning this machine is. How wonderful our software really is in learning the movement of a conductor, sensing the music and really conducting an entire team. It also shows how quickly such technology can be installed. One of the biggest barriers in robotics is not the physical hardware. It's the engineering effort that it takes to teach a robot what to do. Tonight, for the first time in history, a robot has learned to conduct an orchestra in just a couple of days. Yumi took a little bit of time to understand, but we basically had to find time to understand his movements. Then, when we found the way, everything was pretty easy and the flexibility of the arms of Yumi is absolutely unthinkable, not even incredible, unthinkable for a machine. It is absolutely fantastic. And the technicians were fantastic just to, to make everything perfect, especially in, in the length and in the speed of the gesture, which is very important. It will be very useful because in this time when conductors are going to be one day in New York, the other day in London, the other day in Paris or whatever, they will never be along with the orchestra all the time. The robot could give a great help just to give the rhythmical part to the orchestra at the very first rehearsal because people, they think that everything is going to be automatic. You know, the conductor goes there, you pay, do that and the orchestra goes alone. It is not like that, not even in the Berlin Philharmonic or the London Symphony Orchestra or whatever. You must be there and you must have the right tempo and the robot can do the first rehearsal but then the man with the sensitivity, with the color, with the nuance, he must be there. But you will see that the gesture of Yumi is another level it goes far beyond the simple tax talk, as they say in German. It is something much more evident, it is something more artistic, and the flexibility of the machine is basic for this. Absolutely fantastic. Cioè, 8 movimenti per braccio, quindi 16 in totale, mi domanda. Questa è Virginia, è proprio. Virginia, e se tu rimani. Ora gli facciamo fare il braccio di ferro, guarda. Ah. 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 Thank you.